Good evening. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Ray. How are you? <clears throat> How are we this fine Saturday? I've decided to try something a little bit cheeky tonight. See if the copyright police get me. Uh, I've dug up some Welsh language indie pop from, like, the late 80s, early 90s. Let's see if they catch me. <laughs> I'm too hipster for you, copyright police. You may plumble. Brilliant. Amazing. I had a cracking lie in till 10.30. Then Snarf get really indignant. Doing his indignant meows. Um, and so I was just like, all right, I suppose I'll pick it up. Uh, and I started putting together my um, garden furniture. Um, turns out the base I bought would definitely wasn't weighty enough um, or manufactured to any sort of solid standard to contain the parasol. Um, hello, Art. You tried to Shazam some modern Austrian Schlager and had no luck, so it should be okay. Fantastic. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, parasol was out, and then that was fallen over, so, whoops. Um, put the table together, that was fine. Start putting the hammock together, and then the hammock had extra instructions and extra bits with some strengthening stuff. Which I'm probably gonna need, because I'm a fat cunt. Um, and I'm putting, looking at it all, and I'm missing a piece. So the hammock cannot be used. Well, it could be used. It, it's got its original factory configuration. But I'd, I should probably put the strengthening stuff. But I gave it a little try and I strung up the hammock and I <laughs> sat in it. And then immediately it just sunk and my ass was on the floor. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, <laughs> so I went to b and and I got a heavier base. And a power washer, because I was going to get me a power washer to clean up the old patio. And then I can use it on the car, innit? Um, and uh, uh, and I got some more chip-ins to fill in the bits that weren't done. But, you know, soon it'll be winter and my garden will be ready to receive guests. Uh, but there you go. How are we all? So, uh, Ray's been making plumble. Uh, Art, how are you doing? What's been going on in Art's land in the past 24 hours? I honestly think that the albums by this band really, really shaped uh, my musical tastes a lot. Blame my sister for this. It's one of those things where... Um, your musical, your taste in music, uh, while you're quite young, is definitely inspired by parents and elder siblings. I will take this to the grave. That is, that is my take. Like, you, when you're a kid, all you've got is your parents' record collection. And then if you've got an elder sibling, maybe theirs. Um... So, you know, I was the one who... I had a little detour into metal. Uh, your parents listen to country music and Abba with a bit of polka from your dad. Brilliant! Old sister listen to Depeche Mode. Oh, yes. Uh, no, my sister didn't get into Depeche Mode. Uh, my sister's big bands from the 80s. That, so my sister's, what, five years older than me. Um, so yeah, as, as you start, uh, <clears throat> your younger sibling hunted your taste in many things. Cool. Good, good. Um, but yeah, like there's, um, my sister's sort of like big pop bands, as I recall them were Aha, the Norwegian popsters, uh, and I stamp those two albums, the first two albums are fucking brilliant. Uh, Danny Wilson, uh, who you might remember that song, Mary's Prayer. Everything was wonderful 
being here was heavenly. Uh, they used it on the soundtrack too. There's something about Mary, just because it had the word Mary in it. Um, she also into Duran Duran Duran. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, Danny Wilson were just a fantastic, amazing pop band. Those two albums stand up. Gary Clark, an amazing songwriter, went a bit um, do lally in the lockdown, a little bit anti-vax with some of his tweets, so I stopped following. Otherwise, he was like a really good, but a great, great pop singer. Um, did loads of stuff, did a solo album, then he had like a kind of indie pop band called King L, then he did a kind of garbage s band called Transistor. Uh, with uh, Keely Hawes, Chesney Hawes' sister, um, wrote loads of stuff. If you saw that film Sing Street, he did loads of the songs for that. Bunch of people from the 80s showed their asses to the pandemic. Damn right they did. Hello, right, said Fred. Uh, but then when my sister started learning Welsh, this is, I'm going to tell tales about my sister now. Um, Stone Roses. Oh, uh, yeah, I think... Um, uh, what's his face? Ian Brown had, had gone off the gone off the rails way before the pandemic, I think. Um, but yeah, my sister started doing some work for the BBC when she was like eighteen. She like did this competition thing and started like doing these comedy skits that ended up on Radio Five. Somehow, my sister ended up on national radio when she was like eighteen, nineteen years old. Um, which is a little bit odd. But when she was at the BBC, she noticed that, if you know, like they say about the old school tie, when BBC Wales, the old school tie is speaking Welsh. Cool. At least this was my sister's logic. It's like the people who got on were the ones who spoke Welsh. Um, So she started learning Welsh. She's the only member of our family that actually speaks fluent Welsh and still does in New Zealand, mostly to her husband and the cats. Uh, but she like dove into Welsh language culture and was like listening to Welsh language pop bands and and this was a, a big one for and I dug it as well don't understand fucking word a few bits here and there um, <laughs> but uh, yeah it just it, it very much shaped uh, a lot of my taste in music and guitar tones and indie rock and stuff Right, we should probably play a video game instead of talking about stuff. I've seen languages being repressed have a resurgence. Yes, I mean, there's, um, since about the 80s or so, um, yeah, there, there's been certainly, like, you know, punk. Punk helped, because punk said, you can do this shit yourself. So Welsh bands could play punk and write punk songs and release stuff, and you'd have bands like Cruff and, um, uh, a few others like that. This is for later. Don't know why I started it now. There we go. Um, yeah, it's always interesting to like uh, hear pop music styles in other languages. French hip hop is quite fun. Uh, And I've got some Dutch post rock kicking around somewhere. And and some uh, Dutch breakbeat, but that's not really that's not got any vocals on it, so I'm not sure it counts. Right. We could play a video game or I could faff about with stuff off camera. Uh let's press that button. Then press that button to do that and okay. And go back to the thrilling. Right. Can anyone remember where we were meant to go? Oh, shit. Right. You put us straight into a, a bomb pipe puzzle. Fine. Shit. We're going to lose this one. Um, was this one go straight up? I think it was. Was it up and around? I've forgotten already. No, that's not the one I want. Uh, is there another? There's only one straight across. 
There's only one straight across. One straight across. We're going to blow up in a second. <laughs> That's no good, is it? That's not the piece I want. Nor is that. Oh, shit. Fuck this up royally. Um... Double stream with Hawks Pyromania Hour. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Uh, we're going to lose this. Because I suck. Does that reset? No. Oh, shoot. Fire in the hole. Let's redo this one again. Right. Uh, maybe we do it backwards. Because I think it was going up. And then that along there. And then... Maybe when we went up again. So that could go down there. And that go there. And that go there. And that's the one horizontal we need. And that could go there. And that can go there. 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 Great. And I've disarmed the bomb. Right. This is a bit we've done, though, so I don't know. Be overheard? I think I All right. figure out a way to listen in on their secret meeting. The garden, that's where we're going. Thank you, game, for taking me back somewhat slightly so I can catch up. Uh time to move on. Great job, detective. Still I've done super sleuth. We're gonna do. We're gonna unlock ultimate private eye this session. We're gonna Just see the hidden ending. Be meeting anytime soon. There are too many clients wandering around. Maybe I can help them find their way out of the maze. Oh, it's another mini game. Find the four lost clients and escort them to the stations marked with white umbrellas. A red arrow will always point towards the next client to find. To move Nancy, just click and hold the mouse in the direction you'd like to go, or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Once you find the client, make sure to escort her to a white umbrella quickly, or she may become upset. You want to view a map? Uh, click on the help button. Okay, right, here's Nance. And someone is out around here. Can I pick up the axe? Pick up axe. No. Oh, what? I'm going to use the keyboard because it's fucking dead end. Oh, you prick. Nancy, cut across. Nance, Nance. Oh, no. This is some bullshit right here. Oh, no. All those routes are blocked off, aren't they? Oh. No, no. Hello. Oh god, am I even going to be able to get there? Who designed this garden? Why can't Nancy just walk in the fucking grass? She's staff, damn it. Right, can I No, I can't even Oh my god. Oh my god. Designed it. No, not that way. Hello. Oh, please, please, please take me to a rejuvenation station. I've been wandering around this maze thing for hours. Yeah, it's shite, isn't it? Don't worry, there's one over here. Oh, no. There's civilization at last. <clears throat> How does anyone in Nancy's universe function? This is true. It has to be a fire code violation. Probably. Right, they're down. Are they down on this side? Where are they? No, they're over the they're over there. I'm gonna to have to cross back up. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this one's going to be the hello. The new assistant. Listen, do me a favor and take me to a rejuvenation station, all right? What was that accent? We've arrived. Good. Talking to you has been very cool. <laughs> you would take another death sauna over this mini game, right? What was that accent? Anyone? I maybe some sort of East European thing. Was it an attempt at Welsh? Right, there you are. There you are. Don't worry. I've got you. I've got you. Yes, a fellow trekker. Please take me to a rejuvenation station. I am dying for a nice cold glass of lemonade. Why, sure, darling. Up here and down here and around here and... Here we are. Liquid refreshment. Just what I need. You Esperanto. Are I mean, they're otherwise quite nice gardens, you know. It's nice to, like, hang out with them, read a book or something. Oh, excellent. Found you straight away. Hello. Oh. Listen, could you help me find a rejuvenation station? I really must get to some shade. I've just had a procedure, you see, and I'm supposed to limit my exposure to the sun. All right, the garden's clear. Now, where are Jasmine and Cassidy? Right, now find Jasmine and Cassidy. Get in the hero range without stepping into their red field of vision. Okay. Oh, yeah, because Jasmine and Cassidy are shagging, probably. Uh oh, there's their red field of vision. I still can't believe we're doing this. You keep saying that. I just can't seem to convince myself that this is going to end well. Of course it is, Cassidy. Now please, relax. It's just so not customary to let myself get into anything so far over my head. Trust me, we can, we will, and we must see this through. We'd better get back. Yes, it looks like something's happened to the reception area. Well, it's a good thing you weren't in it, eh? <clears throat> Still on crack super sleuth. Nancy, there you are. Look at this mess. This is what my hiring you was supposed to prevent. Where the heck were you? Why couldn't you stop this? Sorry, Mr. Blesky. I was... Spying on Miss Monk, you know. Eavesdropping. That is true. Eat all the dicks. This is the truth. And we are meant to be a spy, so it's okay for us to be eavesdropping. I was eavesdropping on someone in the garden. Don't you think you should call the police? No. Calling the authorities would mean bad publicity. And bad publicity is bad for business. This is just another construction accident. Some careless worker was digging and uh, hit a gas main and boom. But no buts, Nancy. You are my police. You are going to sift through this mess and you are going to figure out who is responsible. Come see me when you've got something. All cops are bastards, but Nancy Drew does free labor. Uh, do menial work for every rich fucker in this place, huh? Yeah, that's always the answer. OSHA would be shutting the shit down if there actually were this many accidents. Maybe the bomber left some clues. Uh oh, I'd better collect those letter tiles and figure out where this other bomb is. Uh oh, you need to be green to find it. This looks like it was used in the fishbowl. I need the fish to be happy enough that he won't bite. So we probably got to find some fish food as well, huh? That's really stuck in there. A sturdy towel. A flathead screwdriver. Seriously, what did you... Philip said. 
What's in here? Fish food? Let's find more things. Realize I need to pry it out. Right, well, let, let's give the fish some fish food. I guess he was just, just a hungry little guy. I need to fish this out of here. What, with a net? Right, we could use a flathead screwdriver to pry that out. That peg had a lot of force behind it. <laughs> I will never apologize. Well, mega peg. A sturdy towel. Do I just use a screwdriver again? That peg had a lot of force behind it. We're not doing that joke for a second time. What's this? It's the thing with the pegs. A, a sturdy towel. Shake it. No. We got three things to find. Two of them are pegs. Peg. A what? It's stuck and a little high to reach. Where's a broom when you need one? Right. Two more things to find. Anything in the remains of the fountain. Oh, hello. These look pretty long. Long enough to get the peg. Gotcha. <coughs> One more hidden thing to find. Is it in the lights? Is it on the computer? Is it in the shelf back there? Is it in that teapot? Any of those plant pots? The harp again? Has anyone restrung the harp yet? Oh, hello. Don't want to get cut. What can I use to pick this up? Oh, a sturdy towel, perhaps? All right, I have all the letter tiles. What could this say? You've got to be green to find it. Cleckery. Oh god, it's a fucking anagram. Thing you do with your trash. Oh yes. That sort of green. The recycling bin. The recycle bin. What could be in here? A bomb? Here we go. Another computer pipe puzzle. Right, whatever happens, we need that one. There. And we need that one. There. And we haven't got many... Any uprights? Okay. So we go across. And down. And... Oh, shit. Oh, you didn't even give me time to think! Oops. Bye, Puzzle. Hi, Kathy. How you doing? Um... We haven't got many... We haven't got any uprights, even. So, that goes straight across and that goes down. And then we can get 
what am I after? This one here to go out, and then this one here to go down around there. And that one again around there. And that one go there. Oh, hey, that'll do. And then, yes, I know. Ah! I did it. Catastrophe averted. There's something else in the recycling bin. Nancy, something should be left alone. Back off or you'll be sorry. Should be an apostrophe there. Looks like Telfton is pretty mad. Mad enough to bomb this place? Nick, the Redondo would be nothing without my magnificent products and procedures. I must have the recognition. I des uh, recognition I deserve. If I do not get it, I will walk away and this place will be destroyed. Oh no, they're setting everyone up to be... Um... Where do we go next? Where do we go next? Did, did that did that tell us where to go next? We've been meaning to explore the waste room, haven't we? I need to do anything there at the moment. Oh, where do, where do I need to go? The office. I don't think I'll need to do anything there oh. at the moment. That's not where I need to go next. Time to move on. All right. Oh, we can control. Great job, detective. That's it. We're going to search around here. All right. Snoop around. Snoop around. Snoop up, snoop up, and get down. There's one thing to find, which will probably then reveal more. That aluminum foil. Is this a meth lab? Sorry, I've been watching Breaking Bad. What have we got here, then? Animal care. It's another mini game. Note. Animals with skin digestive issues are unable to enjoy their food until after they are treated. Name. Cat. Human contact. Molly McKenna. Medical problem. Itchy skin due to allergies. Solution. Spread grey paste on affected areas. Special treat. Tuna. Name. Bean. Human contact. Richard Gibson. Tender spots due to nasty sunburn. Spread aloe gel, not the entire leaf, on affected areas. Uh, special treat, Krollmeister monkey chow. Iggy. Indigestion due to constant compulsive c consumption of loquats. Uh, indigest away tea must be heated and then cooled. Special treat, loquats, of course. Casper. Concerns about light sensitivity due to minimal eye pigmentation. Tiny sunglasses are being created from an off-site manufacturing company. T yes, the cat is named Cat. Uh, but tiny sunglasses. And he likes nuts. So he's a squirrel. Right, hang on. It looks like there's part of a drawing on that scrap of paper. Okay. That paper looks like it's more of the same drawing. Maybe this is part of an architectural plan? I need to get all these papers out and figure out what they are. So Iggy is the lizard. So they have reddish brown eyes and brownish red eyes. Oh no. No, not that. The cat is named Cat. <coughs> Bean is the monkey. Ouch, your skin is all red. So we have to treat the animals and then treat the animals. Okay, here we go. What are you? Crawlmeister monkey chow. A little jiggle should empty the pockets. A loquat. Okay. We're finding the snacks. Tuna. There's the aloe leaves. <coughs> oh, cells close. How many holes does the cat have? <laughs> Are the cats spaced close together or spaced apart? That needs to be brewed. We use that to mix ingredients. Nuts. We found all the treats. Is there anything we can roll flat around here? Plenty of things. 
A grey powder. Bunsen burner's still burning. Two more things to find, and then we'll start comboing up. Won't be a problem getting water. Uh, cupboards, cupboards. No, no. Oh, hello. This picnic cooler is full of ice. Right, we've got found everything. So, the cat needs a grey paste on affected areas. That's a grey powder, not a paste. So, do we mix that with some water? And give that to the cat, which is you. Cat, you look much happier. Uh, bean. Aloe gel. Right, so there's an aloe plant and then there's a roller. We've made some aloe gel for the monkey. Well, sunburn's looking better already. Uh, the lizard indigestion. Indigest away tea must be heated and then cooled. So we've got the tea, which is heated, but it's hot. Cool. Lizard. And finally, the rat. Uh, it's getting tiny sunglasses. We don't need to do anything with the rat except for give the rat nuts. Uh, and the cat likes tuna. Oh, little meow. I wonder where Snarf is. Snarf missed dinner. Uh, Crawlmeister Monkey Chow. Monkey chow for the monkey. And finally, be careful with the low part. You do get indigestion. <clears throat> right. Centre for Personal Physical Improvement. Health and Helgesons. Someone's coming. I'd better hide. You out of everyone should know that I am a true genius, Mrs. Montague. I'm a fan, it's true. But it's not as if you're entirely responsible for my incredible looks. I am something of a natural, you know. God, these people. Yes, this is very true. Uh, my products, they only enhance your beauty. I do not mean to suggest otherwise, but please know, I am suffocating in this place. It is destroying my drive, compromising my creativity, pummeling my passion. <laughs> Yes, Snookums. His silly alliterations <laughs> are tiresome, aren't they? It's quite funny, actually. Mr. Mingles and I have things to do. How much do you need? To buy my own retail outlet? <laughs> as I am sure I do not have to tell such a woman as yourself, who is uh, as skilled in business as she is lovely in appearance, that... that uh, Spit it out! $674,922? Oh my, that's a tidy sum, isn't it? Tidy. But then, depriving the Redondo of its association with you might just be the financial blow that sinks this quack pit once and for all. I'd get first dibs on any and all products and procedures you develop? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, Mummy's getting bored too, little one. I know. Why don't you and I go get massages? I'll get back to you, Helfton. And I should report back to Mr. Blesky. <laughs> oh, Mr. Blesky. 
bless me a blask. Bless you that none of these accents will ever make sense. On to my next location. No, oh, we still don't crack super sleuth. So, you've had plenty of time to talk to people and snoop around. Who's the culprit? Let's hear it. Yanni's butt. Well, I think the person doing the bomb, I mean, doing the bad things around here is. Who do we think it is? Wait, we've got no conclusive evidence, have we? Cassidy Jones is a leftist troublemaker. Mrs. Montague wants to put this place out of business uh, and will fund uh, Helton. Jasmine Ivy is doing suspicious of Cassidy. And then Joanna Brown, the janitor, seems weird. The th they've done the thing that they did in um, White Wolf. Uh, Vicicle Creek where it's just like everyone looks sus and you think you've got it and then you're like oh no wait it was Yanni and his butt um him who's doing it anyone can be doing it Yanni's butt um Let's blame that pinko communist Cassidy Jones. My prime suspect is Cassidy Jones. Are you sure? Well, on second thought. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's... <laughs> My prime suspect is Joanna Brown. The janitor? What does she have against this place? She seems to detest Jasmine Ivy. I think she's willing to destroy the Redondo. Oh, that's it. That's what she's sus about. For what I'm not sure yet, nor do I have any proof. She spends an inordinate amount of time in the medical waste room. Always changes the subject when I try to ask her why. Maybe you'll find your proof in there. It's worth a try. Not many points for that one. Better snoop around. Snoop around. Snoop up, snoop up, and get down. Autoclave Operation Manual. The Crawlmeister Autoclave 2000 sanitizes laboratory medical tools using high temperature and pressure. The Autoclave's interact screen is password protected. Keep the password nearby in case of emergency. It's not how passwords are meant to work. This thing is password protected, but keep it written down and nearby. Shh. Pencil. Shh. It's a War Games reference, for anyone who remembers it. <clears throat> uh, use of Krollmeister brand autoclave paper and ink is highly recommended. Information printed on the paper will appear only after it's been exposed to adequate temperature and pressure, showing that all tools autoclave with it will have been properly sanitised. Fine. Under the keyboard's best. Yes, that's a good spot. Luminous green liquids. I wonder what was printed. <clears throat> it's stuck. We need to pry it open somehow. We're always prying things open, huh? Towels are clean, but still wet. Something on the inside of this door. We'll pull the door open then. Someone has smeared their finger on the inside of this door. I need to steam it up to see what it says. Okie coke. <clears throat> Bags of medical waste. Two more things to find. Just casually pull things out of the biohazard bin. Why don't you, Nancy? <laughs> Give it a paper jam. PC load letter. It's 
switch some lights on no there's one more thing to find there's one more bag of fat just like in fight club Well, okay, well, let, let's at least pry this out. Now it's open. It looks like someone is using a special kind of ink and paper in this printer. Yes, the Krollmeister ink and paper we read about. Need a password of some kind. It's written down nearby. If I could only find it. Pixel hunt. How do you steam up? Do we just put the wet towels in the dryer? Hopefully they'll create enough steam. Ah, start the dryer. That fogged up quick. It's the password, isn't it? What could those numbers be? <coughs> Press to open. That air pressure change sent a bunch of papers flying. I'd better collect them. Someone may have been trying to destroy evidence in here. Put the wet towels in the dryer. Office space reference that last one. Oh, I haven't seen office space for some time. There's room in this cart for other small things to be able to clave. Clave, clave, never mind. We go find 12 pieces of paper that went flying around the room, huh? So we're going to hunt every nut this or open the elevator doors. That's good to know. A little jiggle ought to get everything off this robe. Jiggle it. It's another piece of paper. Come on and jiggle it. Just a little bit. Or was it wiggle it? Oh, there's more. I only got four more to find. <clears throat> Hello, Jers. We we are Nancy Drewing. We are finding bits of paper. Third party ink in the printer. This game's really old, eh? <laughs> oh, there's another one. Two more pixels to hunt. Have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? Some of them back there? No, no, no. If you were a piece of paper that flew out of you, where would you be? Yeah, look and, yeah this is less point and click than look and click, isn't it? Are there any more around here? Under the thing. I feel like we've done that corner. Well, it says I've got one hidden thing to find. Well, I suppose if I open the, the elevator doors... There we go. There's another piece. <coughs> Still one more thing to find. What else is in this medical waste facility? Is 
If you were the final piece of paper, where would you be? It's quite a good melody, that. <clears throat> mm. That's not one. Boom, boom, boom. Anything made its way up here, back where? Ah! Oh, that's too high up. I need to figure out a way to get it down. Of course! There's always something too high up. What are you? This pipe is bent a little funny. Oh no, that's lost my bonus. Oh. Full pressurized oxygen gas. I was just direct some air at it with a bent pipe. Way there we go. Quite inventive there, Nancy. Too much clicking loses bonus. If if you can like pair off everything correctly, then the more you do that, then you'll get a, you'll get bonuses. It looks like I have all <clears> those pieces of paper. But if you try blank. and how do I get the ink to show up? Yeah, put them in the art cloud. <laughs> But if you use the wrong combo stuff, it'll be like, oh, no. <clears throat> right, here we go. Another jigsaw puzzle. Find the corners. about selling fat for fuel oh it is fight club bombing the redondo could hurt her potential profits it wouldn't make sense for her to be the bomber <clears throat> from jb to alts biodiesel to whom it may concern the fat i have is in excellent condition and i can get you a steady supply of it i'll send you a sample as soon as you send me your address JB, in answer to your question, any type of fat can be used to create biodiesel. However, liposuction animal fat would require very little processing and would result in a greener and thus more commercial product. So yes, we're very interested in the fat source you mentioned. Of course, we could not commit to purchasing your product before running some quality tests on it, but there's the potential of being very lucrative for both of us. Alt Biodiesel. It's basically a, have you played through this before bonus? Yes, or uh, you're very smart at what working out the combos here? bonus. Uh, looking for you. I uh, just wanted to talk some more. In fact, why don't you tell me about your brother? You said he was some kind of... Oh. M movie star? Uh, care to guess again? No. Writer. You said he was some kind of writer? My brother Elwood? He's a darn good one. That's what kind of writer he is. Writes everything. Poems, stories, books, even movies. And that goofy haiku stuff. He's real good at that. Oh, Japan and your goofy 13-syllable poems. Oh, she had a book? Alt dot biodiesel sounds like it could have been a huge netboard. <laughs> oh, what was the book? Waving the middle rules, no. Breaking the midways, maybe. Mid breaker Waverly, no. Waverly rules. I've forgotten the name of the book. Breaking the midwaves is a post hardcore band. Uh, care to guess again? Wrong. Did he write the book called Midbreak at Waverly? He only got 25 no. points for that. He's never been published. But last year, he came real close to selling a movie. Real close. But this 
one person ended up saying no, and that was that. Broke poor Elwood's heart. And seeing him all crushed like that broke mine. Long as you're here, come on. I'll give you a tour. The person who owned this place before the Redondo bought it built this big, elaborate underground bomb shelter. It's pretty cool. Uh, no, that's okay. I. No, let's go. See you down there. Uh, yes, Mr. Blesky. Joanna and I were just having a nice little chat. Well, cut it short. A bunch of towels need to be folded in the reception area. Stat. Guess the tour is gonna have to wait. See you later. <clears throat> oh no, I want to see the bomb shelter. Here's the latest note. A little something for the ladies. <sighs> there are two more special tiles. Oh, here we go. The foot. One free swap. Without having to make a match. Okay. The starburst. Clean slate. Adds a power up. Pressing it removes all bombs and locks them from the board. There are bombs? There are bombs now? Oh, right, whatever. Let's see, what are we going to swap? What do we need? Why is everything so far away? Right, that go though. Let's get some peas going. Um... Oh, no, that one can't be moved because it's locked in it. It's locked. Um, it it's starting to get a bit much, isn't it? Um, those are all tops of uh, peas. That can fly anywhere. So way, let's get that one. Um, let go there. And we'll go that, go there. Oh, aha, yes, that, that used the foot. I used the foot. Ah. Use the foot, Luke. Hey, we got the Starburst thing. Not sure what it does. <clears throat> ah, but that go there. <clears throat> Oh, Tufa. I like it when I get a Tufa. Right, I'm good for A's, apparently. I'm good for A's. A's are good. A's are good. What is the The foot... <coughs> uh, the foot means you can swap it without having to make a match. And it's a one-off. Because normally you'd have to make a match. Like that. Well, that's T's are good. <clears throat> but the foot allows you to do one swap. The locks are locked in place. You can't swap with them. Uh, the reshuffles give you uh, extra reshuffle bonus things. Right. What do we... What do we... What do we... What do we need... And the aeroplane ones can be swapped with anything. They can, can't they? Uh, 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 um. 
Um, top right for an L. Oh, no, but there's that locked bugger in the way, so it can't be moved. Oh, wait. But that locked bugger in the way can, can be matched up. P E N. Oh, we haven't done any H's at all. The H's have not been good to us. They're all left H's except for this lad here. Right. Uh, let's do some strategic planning, maybe. <laughs> Like this can, f right, that can fly there. Okay, Coke. And. I think we sort with that. And that really didn't help at all, did it? Because they're both. <coughs> they're both locked. Wonder if they thought this minute game would really take you off end of getting bought by the New York Times. <laughs> yep. Uh what are we looking for? Hey, so there's peas. Right. Oh, there's some more peas. We need N's, H's, and L's. N's, H's, and L's. Ah, you can go there. Of course, that piece is locked, and that piece is locked. Ha ha. Game, you are so cruel. Bottom H. Thank you. Uh, now that can be swapped there. Give us an N. Hello. Oh, that's locked, isn't it? Hi, how are you? Look who's here. Look who's here. Ah, so Hockeyman, Hockeyman did it. What's a Hockeyman? What's a Hockeyman with you? <clears throat> ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Uh, oh, no, that's locked. Any challenge? Ah, ha, 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 ha. ah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Hello, hi, Lacutio. Come to be a pest. Have you seen your brother? Because dinner's still in the oven. It? Top A can go diagonally down. Hmm. Thank you, Art. On the right side. On the right side. So it can. Cool. I mean, that's a lot of letters we didn't need. But. But. It's moved some stuff around. H. Uh, these damn H's. Hello. Uh, oh, you can go there. Cause we need some L's. Um. <clears throat> Oh, hey, you can go anywhere, and you are the top of a P, huh? So that moves some stuff around, which means that... Hi. Dinner's in the oven. No, what I do is I plate up, and then I put the bowls down, and normally they're both there. But when they're not... Hello. 
I will put one of the bowls in the oven so this one here doesn't eat two dinners. Huh? Orko Sandbrook likes big dinners. Yes. <clears throat> uh, still after NH NH and L, huh? Hi. So this can be swapped without having to make a match. Where could I move it to that was helpful? Nowhere. But I can't swap it with a locked one. Ah, wait. Oh, no, I've just put another locked one in there. So I think I need to get that one over there if I can, but I need to get rid of that E. <clears throat> These ends are tricky. Uh-oh, packets. Orko, what have you done? Packets have started, Orko. What's going on? I'm, I'm just swapping things pointlessly now. Well, we do have, like, the the things. Yes, you broke the internet with your drool, Orko. You drooled so much. The internet broke. How do you, how do you feel about that? You're not bothered at all, are you? Doesn't give a fuck. Couldn't give a fuck now. Right, let's put that out. Right, let's... Hey, oh, hello. There are no moves left. Wait, there was a move counter? Oh, no, wait. It means that the things... Let's randomize the board. Hey. Hello. Literally, we just... We're right, we just need H's. H. Done. If you fail, you'll have a mammoth problem on your hands. Elephant? That's a strange one. <clears throat> Elephant. Jungle room. I don't think that's the location the clue is pointing to. What? Oh, ivory room. Aha! I'll bet that's the place the clue refers to. I'm sure it is. Right. Art did. Dude, some dreamy streamies. And I'm not going to deny you. Hello. What are, you, what are you doing? Do you act like a normal cat? It's not all for you about. Hi. I just punched you in the face and I'm sorry. Snarf, snarf. Oh, snarf is out somewhere. Right, you want you want this? You want some of this? Cat butt. I don't think he's coming. Yes! Look at him go! Look at him go! Nom, 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 nom. So, yeah, this morning, lunchtime, I'm out, out the front trying to put all these bits of garden furniture together. <laughs> Weird, upbeat tension music. Uh, and the cat's getting slightly freaked out by me hulking these big things about. But at one point, 
like orchids in the garden. I'm like, okay, okay. And then he just threw up on my new, on my new paving, didn't you? That's what you think of that lad's work. He just threw up in it. Kathy, I, I don't, I didn't quite get the angle that I needed. The hammock, that hammock photo. I put the hammock together. You missed all this uh, from earlier. I put the hammock together and then there was like another bag of hammock bits and extra instructions. It was basically a strengthening thing. Are you done? Wow. Wolf that shit down, didn't you? Uh, yeah, there's, so there's basically a strengthening thing, which um, I probably need. Uh, and it's missing a piece. So I haven't actually used a hammock yet. But at that time, I sort of like set the hammock up. And I, I went to sit on it. And basically, my ass touched the floor straight away. So I was trying to get an angle that showed that actually me lying on the hammock was me lying on the floor. Because I hadn't worked out, like, you know, the, the ropes and everything. Floor ass! I haven't, had, I haven't had my ass that low to the floor since I owned an MX-5. I really liked that car. It was a great fun car. But fucking hell, my legs and my knees. You, you just sat, like, on the floor, pretty much. And I'm an old man. And I'm a fat git. And it was getting harder to get out of the car. So I had to sell it. Otherwise though. Honestly if you if you like. You don't need room for anything. Or anyone. And you want a rear wheel drive. Sporty number that's relatively cheap. Mazda MX-5. Oh yeah I had my midlife crisis ages. ago. Oh, we've got to find a bomb, haven't we? Um, and, of course, as as far as midlife crisis get, cars go, go, everyone thinks they're being really clever. They go, oh, it's a hairdresser's car. Because, you know, their only opinions on car vehicles come from fucking Top Gear. It's in this cupboard then, isn't it? It's in the towels. You never heard that word. No, no, the MX-5 is a great little number. Um, throw it around some corners. You know, take the long way home. Often would do that. Just take the long way. When I worked in... I was living here in Bristol, but I was working still in uh, Wooden Bassett. I'd take all the back roads home and fling it around corners. It was great fun. Nice sunny day like today is the sort of day for jumping in MX-5 and driving somewhere to get an ice cream. You know, sometimes that would be Portsmouth. Yes, that's it, the, the Miata. Uh, the Miata in the, um, in the States and the Yunos Roadster in Japan. The only people who call it hairdressers' cars are men who are uh, insecure. Here we go. Another pipe puzzle, folks. There's a new type of piece. Oh, they can't be moved, but I can use them. Okay. Right, let's go. Uh, should probably go la left. And then, yeah, why not up? And then, um, why... Uh, can't use that one. Have I got any up straights? No, but I could go that way. And then I could go um, that way. And maybe... Fuck, that's that way. And then maybe... Oh, Christ, I haven't got the piece that I think I need. Um, I can't find what I need. It's worse than Carcassonne. Okay, fine. Um, I can never find any of the pieces I want. 
Oh, stop beeping at me, you twat. Are all the ones that touch the bottom then turning right? Are they all bottom right? Yes, they are. Um, there's no bottom left ones. Right, fine. Fine. Oh shoot! Fire in the hole. Uh, oh, you're making gags, and um, that's the only one that goes bottom left, right? All Can the I rest go me? bottom. All I know is I made myself a sandwich, and ugh, it didn't agree with me. And then we could probably go. Well, no, that's, that's a pointless place to go. Uh, what am I after? Ah, maybe that. Okay, that looks better. Um, no, that's no good. Because maybe that should have gone there, but then... Uh, uh, and then... Oh yeah, that one can go there. And then, oh, that can go there. Don't beep at me! Um, no, 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 no. That was the right one there, but then I need, oh. I can't get straight up. Fine, blow up. Blow up, see if I care. I do care. Oops. Oops, says Nancy Drew. Right, I mean, what if I go that way, but then I go that way, and then maybe we can go... See, all the ones that connect to the bottom, there's only one that goes to the bottom left. Right. Um, this is... That's not any good, is it? That doesn't help at all. Well, that went there. And... That went there. And then... No, that's... No, that's terrible. That's terrible. Um... With that and there, sharp. I just swap for the same one. Yep, just keep swapping for the same one. Well done, DJ. You're you're really good at these games, huh? Maybe oh, walk back from the ending. The That's also worth a try. Would you like that a hint? No. Work. No, I will take no hints. Right, if we go back down there. And then go that way. And then go that way. But then go that way. And then we could go that way. Then we could go that way. And then we could go that way. Ha ha! Mission accomplished. Yikes, it's full of ladybugs. Sure glad this bomb didn't go off. Ladybugs? Oh, what are you doing now, you daft dog? Oh, Jesus. Mr. Mangles. I better find a way to reverse the flow of the pneumatic tube and get him out of there. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Mingles. Control panel in the floor, of course. Where in the floor would you be, control panel? One more hidden thing to find. Why does that look like a slug thing? Or larvae, that's it.
<clears throat> Cane bads. Computer, oh, computer automated electromechanical beautification diagnostic station. Surely you could have come up with something better. The marvellous machine which enables beauticians to identify and treat facial imperfections with the flip of a switch. Note to user, because clients must be completely relaxed when exposed to cane bads, it is advisable to strap kiwi slices firmly to their eyes. Health done. Another note, cane bads must be aimed for laser mode to work. Health done. Also, cane bads joints require frequent oiling. Reverse the flow. Probably need frequent oiling. This one opened the chairs upright, so we're obviously going to have to move the chair. Wonder if there's anything useful in here. Fine, we'll pull it. A clean probe tool. Cool, that's something you... Your name is Bait. Someone took a fish and thought, let's call it Bait. Oh, look, it's the access panel. I need something long and skinny to press this button. There we go, that could open. How does this access came out? I don't know, press it. Looks like the door under the chair is unlocked. Another button. I don't know. Push the button. <laughs> oh fuck, it's all gone a bit um Ah It's definitely gone a bit Logan's run. Jesus! Your name is Ark. Are we going to name all the fish? Surgical glue. This looks pretty strong. They've ripped this design off from the Matrix, right? <laughs> Don't put that near your face. No. Oh, no, nice. Nice thought, though. <clears throat> no, it's... So, don't put your dick in that. <laughs> yeah, someone named the fish bait. Someone named another fish Ark. Right. Your name is Shh. That looks extra greasy. So, that'll be the lube that we need. This suspicious password has three parts? Oh. <sighs> There's three parts, does it? What? D is one of them bait? Oh, no, that's... Arc. Shark bait. Shh. Arc. Bait. Arm joint failures. This joint is not moving. That should do it. One more hidden thing to find, apparently. That joint's totally stuck. Well, let's give that a bit of a grease in. Just like the Tin Man. <laughs> Excuse me, the lube! What did I just say? Reverse the flow. Two more things to find. What have we got here? Laser mode. Better find where the controls are before lasering everything in sight. They're in the floor. One more. One more hidden thing to find. We got some glue if we need some glue. Where is the hidden last hidden thing we need? Oh hidden thing, oh hidden thing. <laughs> now we have safety considerations. Yep. Are you 
up in the ceiling. You know, if these are beauty treatments, I'll stay ugly. We need somewhere to aim the laser. We need to find the hidden thing. Where is it? What what have what have I missed? Why is it always that fucking dog? Ah, uh, dudes, dudes, what's happening? Why can't I find the one last hidden thing? <clears throat> no. Listen, <coughs> <coughs> you nip to the little Miss Lou bladers? Yeah. Just point and click, DJ. What do you think I'm doing? I'm pointing, I'm clicking. You don't need to click so much, you just need to point and wait for sparkles then you click but this is not sparkling joy and I feel like I've been over most areas Must be aimed, yes. Kiwis, can anyone see any kiwi fruits lying around? Why, why is nothing sparkling? I might have to hit the thing that says. Uh oh. Evidence. In the floor, of course. All right, back to the game. Well, why, why is the floor not sparkling? It's not that goldfish. It's not that towel. It's not that back pillow it's not that where are you you know what I'm gonna do imaging mode oh my god that's where the control panel is cool Brilliant. What can I use to pry this up? Uh oh, the switch is broken. Oh no. Oh, here's some glue. There we go. Pull the switch. Oh, the poor doggo! <clears throat> uh, Nancy's all the bad luck in the world. No, Nan Nancy can't say no. And does all the work for none of the pay. To whom it may concern, as my representative law firm, I demand that you pursue a lawsuit for Mr. Mingle's current condition. I don't just want damages, I want everything. I don't care if you have to drag this out until they can't afford their lawyer fees. I don't care if you can do it in one fell swoop. No one crosses me. Do this for me or I'll find another firm that will. Will Nancy Drew get to the garden and please catch a certain canine that is running loose again? Catch the dog, go. Catch the dog, go. Wow, what a Karen. I know. Oh, here we go. Getting towards ultimate private eye. We're getting towards the end of the game. Most likely. 
and it looks like he has some documents in his mouth. Mr. Oh no, we're gonna have to chase the doggo. Oh, I'd better follow him until he drops everything to make sure he doesn't swallow more evidence. Time for actions. Chase Mr. Mingles. There he goes. Little prick. Mr. Mingles is a shit. Now he's going to bury it up and then play one. Mingles, you prick. Two. If this dog has the final evidence, that has become funny. Got you now, you little... No, I haven't. Hey, don't you take the piss out of Nancy or Mr. Mingles. Get nostalgic for cat hair moustaches. Hey, this is... almost as good as chasing Yanni. On our, on our uh, snow slides. Come on, you little prick. Here we go. Hmm. I need to put this together <clears throat> and see what Mr. Mingles was carrying in his mouth. <sighs> right, that goes over there. That, no, that goes down here, probably. That's for up there. Oh, that's a, that's a bottom piece. Put you there. It's a bottom piece. Not the right bottom piece though. You're a top piece, huh? That obviously goes there because that's part of Dear Diary. That one goes there. That one goes there. This one does not go there because that one goes there. That was interesting. Where did you find this document, Mr. Mingles? Mr. Mingles? Uh -oh. oh no, he's gone again. again. Dear Diary, Simone wants me to create a written account of what I'm going through as the victim of these threats. I think I can pull off this role. She swears it will generate a ton of publicity. All I know is, Ms. Muller better be right, or it's new agent time. Oh, so... Okay. In case you're wondering, Mr. Mingles was just spotted in the Zen Zone. Mr. Mingles is doing all the work of solving this case. Right, what's next? We need to look for evidence. There's one piece of it. Here we go. <clears throat> Find three items in three categories that match each of the carved five elements. To do so, we'll unveil the secret of the rock island. Find them, dig, around, dig in the ground and touch colours in the sky. The following the truth give each element a colour, a sense, and a direction. Oh, fucking hell. 
Wood is the sunrise and watching things grow. Metal is the sunset and the perfume of gardenias. Water is the din in the dark night and most famous aurora. Fire is spicy. Hot peppers and summer in December. Earth is your bare feet in the ground, golden no matter where you are. So we're dropping acid? Maybe. Three items in three categories that match each of the five elements. Okay, fine, whatever. Dig in the ground. So we've got that thing for the sand garden. There are poor prints everywhere. Wow. Looks like someone lost their marbles. It is much more appropriate. Right, what have we got? We have got coloured marbles here. They're not clickable. Touch the sky. Here we go. A beautiful carving. There are nooks that look like they can hold some small items. Where are said small items? Okay, so these three, two, one. I don't think this is the right order. No, that's fine. Right. <clears throat> So if we have red, yellow, black, green, white, red, yellow, uh, yellow, black, green, white, red, yellow, brown, green, white, brown, black, it's a dark color. Anyway, <clears throat> what is the sunrise and watching things grow? Uh, yellow, maybe? Metal is the sunset of the red. The perfume gardenias. Water is the din in the dark night and the most famous one is the black. Fire is spicy, hot peppers and summer in December. Or is that the red? Earth is your bare feet on the ground, golden amount. What, what a. Or is it just red, yellow? Is it just those colours? Red, yellow, dark, black, green, white. Oh, let's try. Yeah, it just was that angle. Oh, fuck. Is there more eyeballs? A bunch of weird marbles, which I guess go with this. <clears throat> um, oh no. <sighs> White. Black. North. A mouth. An eye. Okay. Okay, so, wood is the sunrise, and watching things grow, so watching, and uh, the sunrise is in the east. So what was the colour of wood? What does this represent? What's this? Right, uh, what goes in here? That's wood. These are the... That's the four... Where's the... Where's the last element? Item on here. Because that's obviously fire. And that's water. Oh, there's metal. That's presumed fire, water, metal, earth and wood. Weird elements. Okay. So, wood is east. I'm watching things. And the sunrise. Hmm. 
<clears throat> this is can that. Okay, right. If m metal is the sunset, which is in the west, and the smell of gardenias, water is the din in the dark night, and the most the din in the dark night. And the most famous aurora, the aurora borealis. Fire is spicy hot peppers. And summer in December. Oh, that's in the, the south. Earth is the bare ground on your bare feet and ground. Or touch, I suppose. No matter where you are. <clears throat> But what were the colours? Red. But red isn't wood, is it? Wood and green go together. Why? Is it metal? No. Water and black go together. Why? The dark night, I suppose. What well, fire is spicy peppers? They're red. Um. Earth is. Earth and yellow go together, and metal and white. I, I have no idea how that works, but... Oh, hello. <clears throat> Nick, the board has decided that Cassidy Jones must be terminated. He doesn't project the right image or attitude. Frankly, his firing is long overdue. You, on the other hand, are to be commended. Your creative billing practices have resulted in a nice rise in profits, with which the board is extremely pleased. Moreover, you've accomplished this while making the Redondo's clients feel they're getting better treatment than ever. You've even managed to keep Mrs. Montague pacified, if not happy, from the board of directors. Nancy, more towels need folding in reception. Get on it. Uh-oh. Time once again to work your detective magic. Think you're a hard-boiled detective? This one will show your worth. <clears throat> yes. If if you're just keeping your letters in a drawer... Uh-oh, we got bombs. Every time you make a match that doesn't include a bomb tile, the bomb will count down by one. If it reaches zeros, it turns nearby tiles to locks. So we're going to try match bomb tiles now, huh? that the only one well oh no you're not this it's the plain one that I wanted hmm like it yeah, that plain one and that one go there let's go read some bombs for a while you need to get a nine dog hiding in the spa Zen garden yes you need a dog a Zen garden a maze and um <laughs> many other things right what do we got what do we got what do we got what do we got you can go there hey i love a twofer um oh you're there uh you're there uh, oh no damn Got that caught between some locks. <laughs> oh no, we got another bomb. <clears throat> that bomb's really annoying because it's just slightly too far away from that. <clears throat> Call contractor and dog pound. That could work. That yeah, that works for sorts right. Okay, you can go there. Oh, that bomb's just gonna go off and lock everything, huh? 
Huh? You gonna be like that? Fine, I'm gonna ignore the bomb. Well, this will. Aha! Oh no! Oh wait! You can fly anywhere! Haha! Right, the O's and the I's. I've done the O's and the I's, apparently. Oh no, that I didn't realise there was a bomb with this B. Ha! Right. So we don't need O's and I's. Just everything else. Um, you were there. And... Of course, you're locked. <clears throat> okay, well, if this can move anywhere, I can go there. I can pull some stuff around. Yeah, move that one there. Ha ha! All right, my M's are good. Oh no! Ah, uh, hello you. Oh, cool, nice one. CRPS. That's what we need. CRPS. See on the right. Not seeing the other part of the sea. Did I just ruin it? Because all these are too far away from their partners. Long time, ah, lag, lag. C R P S. C R P S. This is what you get. Right. Oh, you. Yeah. There's an R. There's an R. Um. <clears throat> oh, you can be swapped without making rats. So we can pull you there. And if... Middle of the board, flying C. Oh, yes, there is. Well spotted. Let's put you with... We needed ours. Um, go, we're not doing very well on the S's, are we? There's not many S pieces out, and they're all tops. Make your own gags. Um... Well, uh, yeah, I've done the O's, but... Alright, CPS. That's what we need. This flying S. I'm going to fly down here. 
to see if that'll at least help with some stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> Chat lag means we can't be helpful. It's true. This is the annoying thing with puzzling on the Twitch. Uh, okay, right. You can go there. I think we've got enough hours, but also you can go there. Uh, you can go there because I need peas. I need peas. Peas, brother. That's all I need. <laughs> Uh, oh, you can be swapped once, which means you can be swapped. Ha ha! <coughs> of course, these two are between some locked jobbies. Are you can be swapped with anyone, and then you... Oh, no, you're locked. Ah, but you can go there. Gets rid of the bomb. Well, if you can be freely swapped, then you can go there. Ha-ha! Ah. -ha. <sighs> So it's just S's. S's are all I need to try and do something with. Okay, can I move that to there? And that to there. No, that didn't work, but that to there works. Zing, this is a bomb. Yeah, then. don't worry. We'll, right, what's going on? What, what happens if I do that? That bomb's going to go off. And it's going to lock everything around it, which is going to be annoying. Um, uh, that's just made that S fall down even more. But if you can fly anywhere and go there, haha, -ha, that's a two for Damn. That's really annoying. Still. We can work with this. We just need to get some more S's. Are there any, even any legal moves? Well, there must be, because the game would have told me. <clears throat> Not sure I can see what the legal moves are, though. Well, oh, there's still some foot moves out there. Yes. Right, sure, I can move. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I can move that there and I can... Bring that in there, and then we've got some stuff going on. No S. Not a lot happening for our S game. It must be said. Uh, but I can swap them. Oh, no, they're both locked. That's annoying. Still. 
still no good Esther for this one. <laughs> bit by bit, I will... Um, <clears throat> well, I think my only legal move left is... Got a blue foot on the left, we can change from the S on the right. Well, that was a long time ago. Uh, oh, this one. Yeah, but all these are locked. They ain't moving. There's no point moving Ness into that spot. All the way over. That might have changed then. I might have already moved it and you're like, Eh, you fool. You buffoon. The foot only means that it can move into one of its legal spots. You can't do a complete switch. Uh, hey, you know what? We've got these buttons on the board. Let's shake it up. Yeah, there we go. And then we can go, hey. Oh, no, that's the same ass. <laughs> um, hey, look at that one. There we go. <clears throat> you should be examining... The situation much oh that should be a microscope then. I can't spell. Of course, microscope. <clears throat> Which can only mean the laboratory. I bet that's the place the clue refers to. No, we still haven't reached that. Uh, oh, it's Hunt the Bomb time, isn't it? What are you meowing about? Hi. Hi. Stop that shit. We're trying to do important time-based puzzles. And you are not helping. Yeah, you were thinking of the play, weren't you? Yes. Here we go. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, let's go straight up. Oh, wow, there aren't many corner turns, are there? In fact, there are fuck all corner turns. Okay. Hi, yes. Hello. Okay, maybe we'll work backwards. Um, <laughs> and we do a bunch of verticals over there. And straight out of there. Shush. And uh, a bunch of vehicles up there. And then uh, that there. No. That there. Have I got any? I haven't got any vehicles left, though. Oh, this one's tricky. Um, boom. Nuts. Nuts, indeed. Right. Uh, no, let's go straight up and straight up. And straight up and there and there and straight down and straight down and straight across and that's not it either uh p -p 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 Don't you fucking peep at me, wanker. Oh, we've only got, like, two legitimate corner... Three legitimate corner pieces. You reckon we can do it without the green squares? Oh, wow. That's a good trick. Could 
because like literally those are our only no wait there's the other corner piece um everything else then is a straight line piece so that's no good what if I'm, uh, we're always going to have to come down there and <clears throat> wow well, these puzzles are kind of hard today kicking my ass kicking my ass what if we came straight down and went straight over and then stopped beeping at me and we went straight up there and then we would knew like we've got one two corner pieces and they both go oops no no hints we can do pipe puzzles just about um right i think we go down and here we go up And there we can go across. Oh, there's our one other corner piece. Which we could put there. But then, what do we got? We got that there. What's the point of that? Oh, beep, beep. Like one, two corner pieces, two, three corner pieces. <clears throat> Oops. No, no hints. I've just had a thought. Is it a good thought? I don't know. But it is a thought. Um, because that piece can go there. And 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 like Art said, I did it. do it without the green squares. This bomb's loaded with rotten eggs. Rotten eggs? <clears throat> right. What could Halfton be hiding? It's locked. Where would you put the key? In a test tube. Now, here's some instructions to... Extremely similar to Bioshock, yes. <laughs> My follicle stimulating laser is on its way to perfection. I'm testing the laser by targeting a glass ball, growth inhibited skin cells, uh, in which encased a metal key, a growth capable hair follicle. In every test so far, a positive result, the laser destroyed the bad skin cells and left the good hair follicle intact. Important reminders the gas of the laser must first be placed in a vacuum tube, which is then inserted into the compartment of the laser. Also, the gas must be created inside the corner biohazard case. If inhaled, the gas can be fatal. Okie coke. Let's find all the things. To create gas to trap in the laser tube, following necessary. Blue liquid must be distilled before any other chemicals are added. Powder must be added to a green fluid. The magnetic stir bar goes into an empty beaker. A full pipette. An empty beaker. A white powder. When this is on, it'll force the liquid out. A magnetic stir bar. The white powder. Right, okay. Well, that goes in an empty beaker. Blue liquid must be distilled, so... Distilled before any other chemicals are added. Okay, so do we turn that? 
There we go. Here is our distilled blue liquid. Powder must be added to a green fluid. Where's the green fluid? No. I better check the instructions. Where's the green fluid? Or do I need to bring the green fluid in? Maybe we need to find other things. Shake the coats. There's a tube we need to fill to get the laser working. What's the red button do? It opened the compartment. Okay, yeah, the thing needs to go in there with the gas. Do not inhale the gas. Who eats nuts? Who eats nuts? Which one? Casper, wasn't it? <clears throat> Who is a sunburn? Um, bean. Who loves liquids? Iggy. Who has allergies? Cat. Who has indigestion? Iggy. Richard Gibson is who's human contact? Oh! Casper? <clears throat> Later initiated error filled laser tube required. That's fine. That's fine. I've still got two more things to find in this area. Plugs, boxes. It's people just leaving their shit lying all over the place, honestly. This is a terrible workplace. I feel I need a green liquid, don't I? Why do I not? <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, look, we, we still had the thing to look up. Haha, <laughs> so we didn't have to. Never mind. <clears throat> Hello. I'm tickling your belly. What do you think about that? Ha. One, one more silly thing to find. Why is that going to buzz a bit on there? Or is this it? Okay. We distilled blue liquid. Oh, powder must be added to green fluid. And blue and yellow makes green. Then you put the powder in there. And then it makes the gas. No, the belly's never a trap with Orco. Snarf, maybe. Orco, not... Never. Good night, Rick. Look after yourself. Yes, I'm filling the tube. I'm putting the tube in the thing. We have found the key to unlock this cupboard. Jesus. <clears throat> Stop. Why do people print out their emails? So Nancy Drew can have clues. That's why. Uh, re your contract. Mr. Helgerson, we are very, we're still very interested in bringing you on board to develop a new cosmetics line in our company. Unfortunately, our legal department has indicated that we cannot offer you employment unless you are free of all legal obligations to your current employer. In other words, your current contract must be declared null and void if and when this occurs. Please let us know. Hope to hear from you soon. Frederick Feeds. <sighs> Nancy, care to guess who's now blowing little blue bubbles in the reception area? 
That fucking dog again. Well, folks. Fuck that dog. Fuck doing all these chores. Well, I say fuck doing all these chores. We're going to come back on Friday, aren't we? Fuck Mr. Mingles. Mr. Mingles is a dick, isn't he? Isn't he, Orko? Oh, yes. Look at your pretty little face. Look at your pretty little face. Yes. It was so adorable. Um, yes, I'm going to hit the save and exit button because that should be a good spot to go. And the quit button. And we'll go back to the full cam. Uh, really quit the game. Yes, really quit the game. And we'll go back here and put on some Welsh language pop music. Um, and let's have a look and see who's a boot for a raid. Oh, look. Still going. Should have put Orko in the game. I know they should have. Uh, still going with his charity stream. He's been at it all day, and I think we should join him. I mean, Ray, you're probably over there modding. Hawk still going for some time? Or, or is an end in sight for Hawk? But yes, our good friend, the Hawkwood, uh, has been doing some charity streams. He's doing a charity stream, charity mate. Um... And so I think we should go over and pop over and see him. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be that situation where we go in there and Hawk's like, Come on, Rudy, thanks for everything. Um, so there. Uh, we finished Dick and Fell, and honestly, I just, well, I've got two weeks off work. I'm going to be trying to tidy up the house and stuff. So I'm going to be, I'm probably still going to be knackered. So um, don't expect me to. Uh, do an RPG for a bit. I think I want, I want some time off. So we're just going to be the weekends. We're going to be Fridays and Saturdays doing point and clicks. Try and squeeze in some Saturday randoms uh, here and there. So next time, actually next time is, oh my dudes, it's first Friday of the month. It's first Friday of the month next Friday, which means that we get together, a bunch of us, and play some games. And we'll probably go back to Worms because I know Queek's wanted to uh, join us on the table uh, as well as me as his friend Lee so uh, I think Friday will be more worms we'll come back to Nancy on Saturday uh, in the meantime enjoy your weekend uh, hope you have a good time with everything you're planning it's bank holiday in the UK so uh, if the weather's good go and burn some meat uh, and other stuff in the garden uh, but in the meantime we're going to go and see the Hawkwood our good friend, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. You lot are lovely. Goodbye. Mwah.